Uh, so, uh, hello and, and thank you for inviting us uh, and me here at uh, Totalin and yes, uh, I'm presenting um, the ZZZ uh, Zwischenzeitzentrale in Bremen, a, a town in the north of uh, Germany and well, first of all I have to admit um, that the AAA, our office, the Autonomous Agency uh, Architecture Atelier is going to be 10 years uh, as well this year, so this cannot be a coincidence, uh, but has to mean something. Um, I don't know why, but uh, well, we have to discuss this. Maybe it really means that some uh, problems or situations in, in city development uh, get urgent uh, over the last years. So, the ZZZ is a... Um, well. Uh, yeah, it's a public funded uh, agency which is dealing with temporary use uh, in uh, all over uh, Bremen and um, well, something which uh, is very important of course is HATS, who is do dealing with that, who is doing that and that's, that's me and my, my colleagues and, and the important thing is that we all have been, had been working on temporary use projects already when we in 2009 uh, get the job uh, to make the ZZZ in Bremen. So uh, Daniel, my colleague who can't, couldn't be here because he's sick uh, today and I, we were working on projects in Bremen and Sarah uh, was dealing with projects in, in Berlin and, and our colleague who was then starting with us, with us uh, Michael was already working with us as well. So for our work, this is very important because we already got uh, used to, to the way uh, temporary use projects are organized and we had a, a network, uh, an existing network of people who were dealing with that, which was very useful in the beginning. And as well, as our approach is very much uh, not only um, being like, 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 like uh, how I say, uh, agent who is uh, making connections, but as well dealing uh, ourselves with the projects. Um, this is um, important as well, uh, well to know how these projects work. Um, and of course, uh, as well, important uh, philosophy about how we are going to do our work and how we have a uh, what our look on the city and, and the vacant spaces is. And like this, that, that, that uh, in, in, in cartoon language means more or less sleeping or snoring, and um, which is maybe uh, ha has a negative connotation, but to us it's uh, like positive. It means those empty properties are only sleeping, and w you just have to wake them up to get new life uh, inside of those buildings. So that, that's how very much how we understand our work: waking up empty spaces and, and bringing new life uh, in. And yeah, uh, well, it's ki kind of a scheme how we understand a temporary use, of course. Well, we are one part of in this process, uh, helping, giving advice, uh, maybe funding, uh, uh, helping with ideas, but of course, you, you need to, to be in correspondence uh, with the owners. We, uh, of course, with the city who's uh, dealing with a lot of, uh, um, how you say, uh, regulations and stuff uh, like this. And very important, of course, and the one who is doing the work, most of the work uh, is the user. It's the one who got a proposal, who got an idea, who needed a space for that. And well, if you got a space, uh, is, is working on that and giving new life to those buildings. Mm. Uh, something like uh, how the ZZZ was funded. Uh, well, in the first three years, uh, well, it's a project of the city. The, the city applied for a federal program. Um, for pilot projects, and so the, the federal state gave uh, fifty percent of the f uh, of the funding of the ZZZ in the first three years. But uh, well, having or doing uh, such a su successful project, after three years, this has been uh, enlarged for another four years. Uh, right now, uh, totally funded uh, by the city of Bremen. And uh, well, la last news were that well. For the future four years, uh, there's a good opportunity that uh, it will be funded uh, again uh, by the city. And very important on, on this topic as well, uh, that it is funded uh, and supported by right now four different departments of the city administration, which means we are not dependent or not only working with the de um, department of construction. Tom Lekelopata will uh, directly after me tell why the city of Bremen is funding us. <laughs> uh, but as well, uh, we are working together with the department of economy and finances and, and culture 
as well as with the city, bo uh, city bodies who deal with uh, city-owned uh, property. And this, of course, means uh, in the process um, of, of doing projects, we are talking with all those people, we are talking about all about their wishes and, and their ideas where we should work, but as well how we can implement projects where maybe problems are and how we can solve them in, in, in dialogue with the city, with the people, with the owners. Um, yes. And so I, I come to, to some of the examples we were dealing with in the last seven years. This is an old uh, customs house. Um, in the old harbor area of Bremen, um, had been abandoned, uh, well, because the uh, harbor more or less got useless less, uh, because ships were went too, gr uh, too big to come to Bremen, it's on the riverside. And of course, so the custom house was not needed too much anymore. Um, there were plans to demolish it, um, but they didn't realize that, so it went empty for some years. And then we said, okay, that would be a nice uh, office space. Can, can, we rent, can we rent it? Can, what uh, do we do to, uh, to make that? And so in the end, we, we rented it from the city of Bremen and sub-rented it to, to more people who were looking for a small office space or a small uh, craft space where they wanted to do something. And we, it was something, uh, but we already started in 2008 before doing the that, that, that. And at that point, we had this impression, okay, it's a temporary space. Uh, we don't know when we have to leave. We have a contract with a three month uh, period where we can be out. So we, we even printed our, uh, our business cards with an empty field for our, ad our address, something we could fill in about ourselves because uh, we had the idea, okay, in three months we are out. So it would be useless to have an address on that because it's not a, yeah, in half a year it's not a, on, uh, uh, outdated uh, anyway. Uh, and in the end we were there for seven years because of course uh, city development is not going to be that fast. And okay, this is um, a, a good example for a space which really was uh, temporary. It was uh, used for four months by a subculture club in Bremen. Uh, Zucker network uh, called and well they were looking for a space where could they where they could do their activities in the summer months like in the winter months of course you can go do a club uh, in the city um, it's, it's cold outside the people want to go it's, it's somewhere inside but in, in the summer they had the problem that people wanted to be outside wanted to do open air parties uh, and so on and well they were looking for years for an area where could they could do that um, and this was an empty a hospital for alcoholic uh, people, or more like a regeneration center, but um, well, it was bought by the city because the city is going to build a highway there. And so it, this matched very, very good um, in the sense of, uh, of a temporary use for some months and uh, a space which was av uh, available for some months. And yeah. And something which is uh, as well typical for brownfields. Uh, which is a more difficult area because you lack um, most kinds of infrastructure, like no electricity, no water supply. Well, heating is not so, so important then, but um, we, we started a project which called, uh, was called Alaort, which means a, a space for everybody. Uh, it's in, in a rather poor area. And the idea was uh, that we, together with some more institutions, uh, made some kind of um, offer to the, to the neighborhood, like a cultural projects. Uh, we had a coffee uh, on that area for one month, every day open. And well, we built uh, a stage as well as an artist project. <laughs> I, I, I actually, I do not have a picture of that, but we had an artist who was doing this uh, in the beginning alone, and then with the kids from the neighborhood who were very interested in doing a, a stage. And, and what we can see is an um, a, a artist project uh, which is called um, yeah, a kind of a plants uh, hospital. Um, people could leave their uh, sick uh, plants or there or if they go to holiday and they couldn't uh, care about their plants, uh, they would leave it there as well. And after some weeks they could back, uh, go back and, and, and take their plants again. And um, this was very popular. It was in, in, in every newspaper and people from all over Bremen, even outside Bremen, came there to, to, to bring their plants there. And uh, well, in, in the end, we, we were doing like an auction and, and selling out uh, all the plants which were left over. And it was very important to the project because uh, it gave a lot of um, publicity 
to it and, and a lot of people were interested of co um, in coming there uh, anyway. And which is a really, really mm, something which is important on, on temporary use projects, um, especially in those areas. It draws a lot of in, in, um, attraction, not only to the people in the neighborhood, uh, but uh, to people all over the city. People who would never come to this area came there because uh, they heard of it, they, they read about it. There were some offers they were interested in and for the first time uh, discovered this neighborhood and um, and even how short the distance from the center to this uh, neighborhood is, uh, like uh, something in their mind w w was, uh, which was always a, a long way, uh, turned out to be a rather a short way, and um, uh, a neighborhood which was uh, like uh, with a bad uh, behavior or bad, uh, had a bad image turned out to be quite nice, well, even if this is close to industrial uh, buildings. Mm. And this is more like, like a reuse or more like an experimentation in an empty um, industrial area um, which was given to us for one month and we invited people from the city, from, from abroad uh, to work there for one month uh, just to, to test, to experiment if this uh, industrial work, uh, building can be an uh, hour day uh, working day, um, space. Like, um, it was used for exactly. Actually, it was used to how I say like comp uh, uh, sheep wool, so something uh, very industrial, uh, large. How I say um, it was very large scale industry. A lot of uh, people worked uh, from the neighborhood, um, and and well, it totally decreased over the last uh, twenty years, and, and the neighborhood had a high un unemployment rate. And for this historic building, this kind of project uh, gave a, uh, at least the idea of um, how this spaces can could be used. Um, yeah, well, that's actually the starting point. Uh, the gate of the old uh, industrial uh, area of the factory was opened, and people from the neighborhood first could for the first time come in and see what is there. And uh, a lot of people really just wanted to see how this area is like, and a lot of the former workers wanted to come and uh, show their um, yeah, their, their children or their nephews or whatever, their families, where they worked. And uh, that was one important part of the whole project. Mm. Yeah, this is more like a, like a, a small scale project. Uh, you know, a woman who was uh, um, having the idea, uh, like really it's a small startup space where she started with selling and sell do-it-yourself products. Uh, and she, uh, well, th the whole worked and right now she's uh, running a regular business. Uh, well, it's the same with an old office building, uh, opened the gate and then, well, people came, people discovered um, the possibilities of doing something and it, yeah, it got more and more used and right now it's more or less itself, uh, well, it's a kind of a problem because it's squatted right now by the people who are in temporary use there and we are still in, in well, negotiations about uh, how this is going on and yeah, just the last example. Um, this is a uh, plantage. It's an old um, commercial space, which was in the beginning in the 50s built, um, like for for sewing uh, clothes. And then it was used for uh, by a fire protection uh, company, and then it was built uh, uh, bought by the city because the city wanted to build a road on that area, um, a road which never came. Uh, so, but the city still had the building, and. Well, when we discovered it, we thought uh, we saw it was um, well, it was quite big, 1,500 square meters. Well, but not too big. It was um, how you say like heterogenic, uh, big uh, spaces, big rooms, small rooms, office spaces, more like uh, atelier spaces, and this was really um, a good opportunity to bring on a very diff different people, like like people who wanted to do a regular business, uh, who were like business uh, doing there, but as well artists uh, who needed uh, like a, a bigger atelier space. Um, we had craftsmen inside. Well, you see on the, on the left on the, uh, on the picture, there's like a, like a uh, region bar, was one of the first region bars in, in, Germany, uh, in, in Bremen at all. And so it's a very lively place because people are so different. It's old people, it's young people, it's um, people who just uh, finished uh, school uh, or university. And uh, on the other hand, it's like uh, old artists uh, who are in their 70s and, and doing um, 
projects there, so people could very much benefit from each other and and and, and correspond uh, correspondent very much uh, with each other, or uh, co uh, work on on different um, um, things like there's a. Uh, there's a there's a um, how you say a craftsman there who is doing all the um, the, the, the um, how you, uh, well I hardly know the word well he is uh, doing um, the frames for the pictures of the artists uh, in a very special way and so that's working very well and yeah well we had this high, um, industrial uh, climbing um, guy who was inside there and could use those old uh, infrastructure of the industry which was inside there and very important for those projects as well um, making like a day uh, open day uh, inviting the neighborhood um, having a good connection to the city to the administration to the um, board of economic uh, growth which is the owner which supported it very much and as well to the local politics um, who support this uh, project a lot in the neighborhood and Well, maybe th th that's uh, just a slide where well, uh, the sustainable effects of uh, temporary use are in. I mean, we are at the moment very much uh, working on, on the um, on the topic of um, startups, but as well on the, on the, on the fact um, that a lot of refugees are coming to Bremen. And well, there was a first phase where when everybody was uh, dealing with how, how uh, about housing, but right now we are in a phase where it's a lot about how can we reintegrate or integ integrate them into labor market and uh, how we can we make uh, job offers and how can um, empty spaces uh, give a, yeah maybe one idea to that or maybe one offer to that and this will be uh, more or less the, the context of um, my brainstorming session uh, later. <laughs> So thank you. <laughs> Good.